Hey, we back. Um, somebody had sent me a video or sent me a request asking me asking me about bulldoze corner beat. How do you cut the 45s? How do you cut the 90s? He goes, I, I just eye it and I cut it, cut it, cut it, and I have a problem with it. So um, my thing, what I have that I just lost is this. You get one of these, right? So they're a little template that they make. Uh, they give these to you free if you ask ask them for it. But you gotta ask them nicely. Can I have one, please? And then they'll give it to you for free. So what this does is I put I put it on the piece of bull nose, and I mark it with a pencil, and then I cut it, right? And then the other side goes on the other side. So now I mark the other side. So you have to do one on one side, one on the other side. Now, when I go to put it up, and I'm doing a, a, a piece of corner, it just fits together very nicely. And trust me, it does, but this isn't bullnose. I'm just showing you how to do it. I'm not putting any bullnose in this basement. I haven't done bullnose in quite a while. Um, but it gives you a very nice corner. Now, if it's a 45, if it's a 45 and it's, and it's like this, that's where these marks come in. You use these for 90s, these for 135s or 45s. So that's where these marks come in. Um, when I put this on here and I mark that, now I can have the off angles that I need. He also asked about corners. How do you do the corners? Well. I've always used these corners. I've always put these on here, and then I've ran my bull nose up to them, like that. And again, like this, this one's too long, but, but you have the idea. You have the idea. You, the, it's just a very, very simple way of doing it, and it works. It works. and and. And when you really have problems with these, like in here, it's, my motto is, you just do the best you can and you caulk the rest. Do the best, caulk the rest. Uh, <laughs> I told that to a friend of mine, he started laughing and he said, uh, yeah, one foot equals 11 inches plus caulk. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> but that's what I've always used for these corners. Now, let's say it's a, that it's a 45 here, right? So it's going at a 45 degree angle. And first of all, 45s like, or 120s, these are 120s. 120s like this, I've never put bullnose on them. I've tried it once with the 120 bullnose. Doesn't look any different than 45 anyway. The, the difference is so slight, even with three quarter inch. I don't see much difference. I always put 120s here. I didn't bother putting the 120 bullnose on here. Uh, really, I, I didn't see much of a difference. Once you mudded it in, you just had this little bit of round here, and there really wasn't nothing very noticeable. Really wasn't very noticeable. On regular corner beads, yes. I mean, when this is bullnose, that makes a huge difference. But if I've got... Um, let me try to think what I have here. I don't have really anything here to show you. But if it's, if the soffit's coming in and then splaying like this and then coming down, so this is a 120 bead up here and it's going down. What I like to do, I put this on and I cut this. I cut this to fit, to fit on that, on the off angle. I'll split this open. I'll make a little slice here. I'll open this up. I'll slice this and I'll open this up and I will splay this. I don't know if they make one for that corner anyway, but I always splay these to make them fit on the corner and then I just butt up all the bull nose to it. That's how I do it. And trust me, when you cut this off and you do this and you just put regular corner bead or regular 120 bead right to this, again, you really can't, doesn't make much of a difference. And then mud it, just mud it in, it'll be fine. Uh, the bottoms. Because again, sometimes if this is the floor, right, 
this is the floor, and you're going to put a piece of uh, casing on here, right? So the casing is going to come straight, and you have just bullnose here like this. The casing can't come straight. Now what they do make is they make these little plastic tabs that slip in to the, to the trim. So when they trim this out, they, they do trim this out like this. They, they'll trim this this direction, they'll trim it this direction, and there'll be a big gap here, and they make these little plastic pieces that's, that you caulk in and slip right into that gap. Those work really well. Uh, if, you know, if you know how big the trim is, if it's, if it's really small trim, it's only uh, two and a quarter or something, normal standard base, you cut this thing down. But if it's big trim, you, sometimes I've had to hold them up like this, because it was going to be, you know, six inch, five inch base. And so I've had to pull these up off the floor to make sure that I'm, I'm above it. And then again, that goes right on top. And the most important thing about bullnose is you see how this corner bead is hung? How this is drywalled? This is not good for bullnose. Bullnose is going to rock on this. You have to cut the drywall back. You have to V this back. A lot of times, I'll just stop it short. I'll stop it way back here. I'll stop it a half inch short to the corner. So this is seven inches right here. I would make this probably, I would make this six inches. I wouldn't make this seven if it was getting bullnose. Trust me, the bullnose goes way beyond it. It can't ride on the corner and it, and it works really well. But if I try to put bullnose on any of this, it's just not gonna work because that's too close and it rides on it. So that's the most important thing about bullnose is make sure that drywall is cut back. Otherwise, it just doesn't fit properly. I, I like the bullnose. If I put it up there, and it just goes, and just holds really tight. See, this isn't. And I just feel it just suck in really tight. I'm like, oh, that's, that's really good. I really like this. I used to use the vinyl bullnose for years. The metal, metal phased out, I don't know how many years ago. But then they had the vinyl that I used but I had problems with it. it. It would eventually crack, and I had a lot of cracking. Now they have the tape on, this tape on. It runs right through my hopper. My hopper's got a, a rubber grommet in there that's got the round, so it goes through, and it goes right through the hopper. And when you're cleaning this off, they actually make a little tool. They got a little plastic tool that scrapes the mud right off the end of this. And I have that, it's at home, I, I didn't bring it with me, but it's free too. So after you mud this in, you can clean off the edge of your bullnose. Uh, but even my roller, my roller that I use for the hopper, that's over here. That's over here. This is designed for regular corner bead and bullnose. So I will use the exact same roller with this and it'll roll this right down. But what's really neat about that, when I, when I run this through a hopper and roll it, I don't have to wipe. I don't have to come back with my knife and wipe any of this mud off because it's way beyond, it's way inside of where I'm going to be mudding up anyway and that's not going to affect me coating the corner bead whatsoever. When I'm coating regular corner bead, doing regular corner bead, I have to come back and wipe the corner bead down after I roll it down. With bullnose, I don't have to do that. It's, you roll it, walk away, you're done. When you go to coat it in, that, that's not going to have any effect on you whatsoever. Not at all. Uh, that's pretty much all I have. Uh, I'm not a fan of bullnose. I'm, I, I know a lot of people are. I've done cases, cases, cases. I had one builder uh, here in this town. Uh, he always had an archway. Always had one or two arches in his, in his houses that we did arched bullnose on and we did bullnose all the way around going in like in and out of his dining room and stuff like that and it really did look sharp after everything was done and, and trimmed and cased and crown molded and finished you always had these two beautiful arches but every time I tried to get the hangers to put it on I, I walk in and I'm thinking uh, rip it all off do it myself so I got to the point where you know what don't don't bother, let me just put that bullnose on. And today, now, tapers put all the corner bead on around here anyway. I, I, do, I do hear of hangers who are putting on corner bead for other guys, but um, back when I started, hangers put on corner bead, tapers just taped. Now, we're putting the corner bead on. 
do I like putting corned beet on? No, no, <laughs> but but you do, and uh, and it's if you're putting the corner bean on and you know what you're looking for and you know what you want, it is a much nicer finish. You have a great day. Hey, if you really like this video, subscribe. And if you really, really like this video, share it with somebody else. You have a great day.